Ooh, do you smell that? It smells just like blank. Okay, so I'm gonna draw Jack's farting. I'm sorry, that's just what I'm doing. That sucks. <laughs> I am so immature, I'm sorry. Hey guys, it's Anish Gloom. Welcome back. And today I'm gonna be drawing all the characters from the amazing Digital Circus, but we're gonna be doing it in Roblox. I'm gonna start off with games like Speed Draw, Draw a Blank, we'll be going into Spray Paint, Free Draw, all the good ones. So let's get into it. Alrighty, the theme is Rainbow. I love this theme because I love drawing with a bunch of color, but I'm trying to think which character I could most easily translate translate into like a rainbow color scheme. And I think that would have to be Gummy Goo because he already kind of has like this two, three color scheme going on where it like ombres down his body. So I think it will be easy to just add in a few extra colors and he will definitely still read as Gummy Goo. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna go from like head to toe. We're going like Roy G. Fib. And then I wanna draw like his little white belly. Um, I like to imagine it's one of those gummies that has like the marshmallowy bottom. If you know what I'm talking about, those are the best gummies, okay? <laughs> He's looking so delicious. Um, we're gonna go ahead and give him a little hat. His hat is brown. I like to imagine that it's made out of chocolate. Definitely not leather. That way you could just, you know, eat all of Gummy Goo in one go. <laughs> that just sounds like murder. Here I am talking about how much I want to like just eat him as a food. I'm sorry, Gummy Goo. <laughs> is it really murder if it's delicious? <laughs> Okay, we're giving him a nice little outline. We've got his grumpy little face, his sassy hands on his hips. Let's go. <laughs> okay, this first one's really super cute. Um, I love the little shading that they added. It's a pretty good rainbow. I'll give that three stars. No four, I, I think it's really cute. Oh, I love this one as well, but the colors on the rainbow are a little bit out of order, so I have to deduct a point for that. I'm sorry. Okay, this one's adorable as well. We've got the science guy in the back, and then all the colors are well represented. But I think they could have added a little bit more, so two stars. I love this a little rainbow heart. That's so cute. I'll give it three stars. All right, here's my gummy goo. I think he looks awesome. I'm super excited. Hopefully there are some Digital Circus fans here in the server so they can enjoy it with me and give me five stars. I think he deserves five stars. <laughs> okay, and the winners are... Yes, I got first. I'm so surprised. There's actually a lot of cute rainbows. So go me. Yeah, we're off to a good start. Ooh, okay, the theme is alien. This one's actually really hard. What character could I put in like some sort of outer space or like alien theme? I don't know, this is actually really hard. I think I'm gonna just start off with an alien head. And then I think maybe if I make the alien wearing like a gangled mask, maybe that will kind of work. I feel like their head shapes are kind of similar. I don't know, that's the best I could think of. Um, this one will actually be kind of tricky. Okay, so we're gonna have the alien wearing the gangle mask. So we gotta make sure that we've got gangles like super sad face because poor gangle broke their uh, comedy mask. So they're just stuck sad forever. So we're gonna get those big sad eyes in there. Gotta make sure we have the little tear if you look at the show like really closely at Gangle's tears, they look like little gems or jewels or something. They're actually so pretty. Um, let's go ahead and give this a nice little outline. And then uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and add in Gangle's body. Um, so we have like that ribbon. So it's more obvious that it's Gangle because right now it just kind of looks like a random mask with a green alien head in the back. <laughs> I think to kind of like tie the alien thing back in, let's do like an alien's hand, like holding up the mask. Um, that's that's really all I could think to do to like mash these two together. Hopefully people get what I was going for. <laughs> I love this alien. He totally looks like he's terrified though. Look at the look on his face. Like someone's about to blow up his home planet, poor little guy. <laughs> this one's pretty funny. For some reason it totally looks like it's scratching his head. It's like, huh? Oh my gosh, I love this one. I love that they added in like a little UFO and then it has like the derpiest little blank stare. She's like, <laughs> three stars. This one reminds me of the one, that, like the little aliens from Toy Story, <laughs> the claw. Oh my gosh, this one's the cutest. I'm giving it five stars. It totally looks like a noob, like wearing an alien costume. I love that, five stars. Okay, here is my, no, it messed up my layers. Ah, oh, why does it do this to me every time? The hand is supposed to be in the front, so it totally looks like really weird now. <laughs> I'm definitely not gonna end up in, on the stage this round. Yeah, no surprise there. I blame you for this. But you know what, first, second, and third, I loved all those so much, so congrats to them. Ooh, okay, the theme is happy. This one will be super easy. I already know who I'm gonna draw. We're gonna go with Ragatha because she's definitely like the cheeriest character in the entire show, which is honestly like, I feel like her character is so needed. She's like kind of underrated in my opinion. The whole storyline is kind of dark at times. So without Ragatha, um, I feel like it would get like super sad, super fast. We definitely need her character to like give us that little bit of optimism and to like keep us going. 
So if you are a Ragatha fan, sound off in the comments. Let me know. Um, we've got her adorable little yarn hair going on. Now I got to get her eyes. We'll give her some cute little slate eyelashes. And then I totally love that she has the button eye, which gives me Coraline vibes. Um, if you guys are Coraline fans, let me know. I think it'd be super fun to do a challenge where I draw like all Coraline characters. It's one of my favorite movies. But anyways, we're going to get her nice little smile in there. And I think I've got time to get her dress, um, which I love. She's got the big poofy sleeves. It's totally cute. And then like the little patchwork pattern reminds me of like Raggedy Ann. Do you guys know who that is? <laughs> Okay, and then we got her little bow on the top. I almost forgot. Oh, I, I cannot believe I almost forgot her bow. Okay, just a little outline for her face. That was a close one. Where Where's the art? <laughs> What's happening? There she is. We have some serious lag going on. Okay, I think she turned out pretty cute, but I don't know why Speed Draw always does this to me. Like the red and orange tones come out looking like absolutely crazy when they're on stage. But I still think she's pretty cute. I love these little smiley faces. They're so cute. But okay, I give it four stars. But now that I'm thinking about it, they have like five minutes. They could have done a little bit more. So I'll give them three stars, but they're still really cute. Oh, we got the little happy heart. <laughs> Oh, stop it! It's such a cute little noob. I can't help it. I have a soft spot in my heart for noobs. We're gonna give it four stars. Plus, I think, like, the shading and color choices are pretty cool. I like that. Okay, winners are... I think I deserve up there. Fingers crossed. Hey, I got second place! All right. I'm not at all mad I lost to the noob. I love him. <laughs> Soak up that first place spot, you little noob. <laughs> mustache no doubts about it i know who i'm drawing we're going with kinger if there was a character that could use a mustache it would be him i'm sorry i feel like it's the missing piece to his character design like comment down below and tag glitch tell them that kinger needs this mustache okay <laughs> actually don't really that'd be embarrassing but <laughs> you're gonna see i can already envision it he's gonna look so dashing with his little mustache okay so we've got his like little classic chess piece head we drew in his super slay coat and then now i want to give it like a good little outline just so we have some extra definition and let's give him that sweet sweet mustache baby <laughs> you can't tell me it doesn't look perfect i'm obsessed <laughs> This is the only version of Kinger that I will accept from now on. Kinger with a mustache. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and give him some little highlights and stuff. Is it like Dalmatian fur or something around his jacket? That kind of concerns me a little bit. It's definitely giving like Cruella. <laughs> let's hope it's not um, a dog. But anyway, <laughs> let's throw in a little extra shading. And I think he's looking pretty good. I'm obsessed. Okay, here's mine. You guys already know how I feel about it. It's so beautiful. I think he looks amazing. <laughs> you can't tell me that he doesn't need that mustache. Okay, this one is just some scribbles, but these are very aesthetic scribbles. I, I like them, but I can only give them one star, unfortunately. <laughs> We've got Valentina. I don't know if I know who Valentina is other than the hot sauce, but um, I'm a big fan of that hot sauce, so I'll give it three stars. Maybe when you eat a bunch of Valentina hot sauce, you grow a mustache? I, I, I'll go with that. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's the Pringles mustache. I love that. I'm going to give it four stars. I would have given it five if there was like more details, but you know, Pringles, you can't deny Pringles. It's another adorable noob. I think they're on to me and my soft spot for noobs. I'm going to give it three stars. It's so cute. Okay, we just got some more scribbles. Mm, no. Let's see who had the winning stash. Me, yes! <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> I've never been more proud of my mustache abilities. Oh my god, subscribe. Alrighty, we are moving right into realistic spray paint. If you have not checked out this game, I highly suggest it if you like to draw on Roblox. The people there are interesting. There are some really, really amazing artists in here, as you can tell. Like, look at this one over here. This is insane. Like, I want to know how long it took them to draw this. It's honestly so good. The perspective and everything, mind blown. <laughs> Also, um, when you're in this game, they have some really amazing drawing tools. It feels so smooth when you're drawing. It's seriously, it's like butter, okay? Um, this is like my new favorite game to come in whenever I'm trying to do like a more serious drawing. If you knew what I did in my free time, more, oh, you'd be second. Because they have some really awesome drawing tools. You can do everything from stabilization, copy and paste, resize, all kinds of stuff. And then they also have different passes that you can buy with like opacity layers and like neon paint 
all kinds of stuff. So definitely check it out if you like to draw because it's definitely a newer, but like really, really awesome game. Okay, anyways, we did our little sketchy sketch. We have our outline and now it's time to color it in. Oh, now we're cooking. I really wanted to do an entire piece that was dedicated to Pomni because she's one of my favorite characters. And one of my favorite things about the Amazing Digital Circus is like how well they're able to an animate all of her emotions and everything. So I wanted to do an entire drawing just like dedicated to that. And I want to do like one of her classic like existential crisis um, laughing stares. <laughs> So that's what we're going for. We're gonna go ahead and block in like all of the main colors for this and then we'll go in with our next layer and do some little shading and stuff like that. So right now that's what I'm doing. If you can tell there's like a really light gray that I'm kind of using just to like cast shadow from like her hat and her hair and stuff on her face. And then I wanna go ahead and like do the coloring for her teeth and her eyes and everything like that. If you look at Pomni's eyes, they do kind of have like these, I don't know, um, uneven line weight around them, which I think is really cool and adds to, I don't know, like her look of anxiety she always has. <laughs> um, and then we're gonna give her her little blushy cheeks and then color it like her little pinwheel eyes. I think she's coming along so cutely, but I think there's a few areas where I could definitely like beef up the thickness of my lines. So we're gonna do that. And now I think all of that's looking pretty good. Um, we're gonna go ahead and add in like her outfit and stuff down below. We gotta get those little poofy sleeves. Um, <laughs> and then a nice little like drop shadow underneath her chin so it looks more realistic. Now let's go ahead and add some highlights and shadows to the rest of the drawing so it really gets some of that depth going on. And yeah, let's give her hair like some nice little highlights so it looks like shiny hair and just like a few little strands here and there so you can tell it's actually hair. And here it is. The only thing that made me sad about this was I wish that there was like a ladder because I could not reach the top of her head to finish it. But otherwise, I think it's so cool. I think it turned out really awesome. Awesome. And yeah, like I said, definitely check out this game, guys. I think it is so underrated and needs some more players. So join Realistic Spray Paint. Check it out. <laughs> okay, we are moving right along into draw blank now. Our first prompt is my blank ate my homework. Okay, I know exactly who I'm gonna draw. There's only one character in the digital circus that would eat your homework, and that is Bubble. I'm trying to quit. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna give it like a nice little red background to start off with. So that way Bubble doesn't get like lost in all of the whiteness, okay? So we've got our little roundness. Now I gotta give Bubble like his signature toothy grin, okay? So we're gonna kind of color it in as like a, like a light bluish since like Bubble's like mostly white. And then we're gonna get those white teeth in and I'm gonna use just a little bit of an outline to kind of give it some more definition, yes. Loving it. Get Bubbles eyeball in there. Okay, now it's time for the tongue. Let's go ahead and get that like big tongue. I love it in like the first episode when it's like lapping up Pomni's like digital pew. <laughs> laugh so hard so that's what I'm going for here I'm gonna use some different colors for highlights oh I ran out of time I didn't get to like you know make the actual homework but I think you'll get the idea okay stop that's the cutest dog I've ever seen in my life five stars like you can have all my homework I don't even care I just I just love him <laughs> I think this one was supposed to be a dog too but they didn't get very far I'll give it three stars though because it was off to a nice start <laughs> I do not know who this character is, um, but they look like they're crying while eating the homework. I'm gonna give it four stars. Why not? This one looks like someone just did their homework. No one's eaten it yet, so <laughs> I'll just give it two stars. Okay, we have another adorable little dog. I love this one too, four stars. Okay, here's my bubble. <laughs> Hopefully they know what I was going for. Um, with no context, this might look pretty crazy, but I think everyone knows the digital circus by now. <laughs> okay, I'm getting some laughing emojis. Oh my gosh, this dog looks like it could learn something from eating my homework. <laughs> it looks like the lights are on, but nobody is home. <laughs> We're gonna give it four stars. Okay, and the winners are... No, not me. <laughs> but you know what? That dog is so cute. I love both the dogs. I'm still lost on what that weird clown person is, but all right, congrats. Okay, next round. I used blank as bait when I went fishing. Ugh, okay. This one's kind of hard. How could I make this one digital circus themed? Okay. I think um, there's one character that can easily be used as bait. So that's what we're gonna go for. We're gonna draw our water and then um, our little fishing line and our hook. And then I'm gonna draw gummy goo dangling on the end. I'm so sorry. This might be like more tragic than your actual um, ending in the story. <laughs> like at least the other way you like poofed out of existence. Whereas now you're gonna get like eaten alive by a bunch of fish. These guys are whack jobs. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but that's all I could think of, okay? <laughs> Poor 
Gummy Goose just been talked about how delicious he is this entire time. Poor guy, he can't catch a break. <laughs> Here we go. We got him dangling from the edge of my hook. Um, and I, yeah, I think the, the fish will be very excited to eat this little guy. Already time to vote. Okay. <laughs> Whoever style this is, I definitely like it. I'm gonna give it five stars. The googly eyes are sending me. Okay, we got another worm. Is he like wearing the same hat as Gummy Goo though? <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, here's my Gummy Goo. I think he's adorable. And I think fish would like to eat him. So out of those two things, I think I definitely deserve five stars. Oh, this worm is so good. I love it. Even though it's like in the grass and not being fished with, it's still a really good worm. So I'm going to give it four stars and some fire emojis because that's a pretty good worm. All right. And another classic worm, but there's been so many good worms. I'm only going to give it two stars. I think this one's supposed to be a banana peel. Okay. Winners are... Come on, please, 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 please. No, I didn't make it again. What am I? But you know what? The, all the worms won, which is, I guess, the logical answer, but definitely not as fun. <laughs> We'll still cheer him on though, congrats. Alrighty, next prompt, wake up, blank, repeat. Ah, uh, this one's kinda hard too. Okay, what what can I think, what can I think? Alrighty, I think I'm gonna do like panic, but we're gonna draw Pomni panicking. You can wake up, panic, repeat, right? That makes sense? <laughs> and hopefully people will think it's funny. Okay, so I'm gonna go with like, I don't know, one of my favorite scenes from the first episode, whenever it's like zoomed in on Pomni's face and she just has like scribbly eyes for pupils. <laughs> I think that face is like the most panicked looking, so that's what we're gonna go for. Okay, so we're gonna get her eyes blocked in here, scribbly scribble, a little frowny face, but some blushy cheeks, okay. And then now we gotta draw like her little outfit in so she's not just like, you know, a head floating in panic. <laughs> okay, that's looking pretty good. Um, but I think I'm gonna write the word panic at the top, so hopefully it makes like a little bit more sense. I think it's a pretty good answer for wake up blank repeat. Okay, this guy never woke up, he's still asleep. <laughs> I'll give it two stars. Wake up, smile, repeat. That's pretty good. I like that answer. Two stars. I don't know what this one is. What, I, is it like a laptop? Like maybe like wake up, game, repeat? That makes sense, kind of. I'll put two stars because it's just too vague. <laughs> I'm getting the feeling that none of these people are waking up. They're all still in bed. <laughs> Okay, here's mine, wake up, panic, repeat. I think that's the best answer that we've seen so far. So even if you're not like a digital circus fan, you can't deny that's funny, okay? <laughs> okay, I got some thumbs up and some heart faces. <laughs> wake up, die, repeat. Is that allowed? <laughs> I'm giving that five stars just because I love a good chaotic answer. <laughs> this one's like drawn super well, but again, I, I don't know that he's awake. Is he like wake up, rage, repeat? Ooh, violence. That kind of makes sense. I'll give it four stars. Okay, and the winners are, drum roll. Yes, I finally made it on the stage. Third place, let's go. <laughs> I lost to uh, death and rage. That That's fair. <laughs> Can't sleep. There is a blank under my bed. Okay, um, let's see. Which character would be the most terrifying to find under your bed? I think hands down, that would have to be Kane. <laughs> Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna draw like the the sheet of the bed like hanging off the edge here and then just like the little wooden post on the sides. Okay, good. So you can tell it's like under the bed and now I'm gonna draw like the gum part of Kane's like denture face. Like what even is his character design? It's so weird, but I love it. Okay, so now we got all like the little teeth in there. We're gonna draw his eyeballs. I love how he has like the blue eye and the green eye. I think that's super cool. Pretty interesting character design for sure. Okay, so let's give it a little bit of an outline. Okay, he's looking pretty good. You can't tell me this wouldn't like give you nightmares. Like it would definitely keep you up all night if you found this under your bed. And then, um, yeah, let's do the little top hat. Perfect, laid it. <laughs> Ooh, this person can't sleep because there's spiders under their bed. That's a pretty good answer. I would be terrified if there was like a whole nest of spiders. Uh -huh. What is this like weird obsession with this like clowny person? <laughs> I'll give it three because yeah, I also would not sleep if that was under my bed. <laughs> so I gave it a crying face. Okay, can't sleep, there's a cat under my bed. You know what, that's fair because if your cat is like mine, it probably has the 3 a.m. zoomies and is going buck wild under there. So yeah, you can't sleep either. <laughs> oh, this one kind of looks like a Cheshire cat or something. I like that. That's pretty cool, I'm gonna give it four stars. Okay, here's mine. <laughs> Out of context, Kane would be so terrifying. Like hopefully people in here know who I'm drawing. Otherwise, this is like extra scary. <laughs> Sorry, children. <laughs> Okay, here we just got some scribbles. One star. <laughs> there's a there's a boy under your bed. <laughs> that is also concerning. 
Oh my gosh, what is this? Is this a Slenderman? That would be terrifying. Four stars. No, thank you. <laughs> All the scared faces. Okay, winners are. Come on, let me on the stage. No, I lost to the scribbles. I don't matter in the slightest. I'm nothing. <laughs> That's just not fair. I definitely deserve it up there this round. Just saying. Ooh, do you smell that? It smells just like blank. Okay. <laughs> I know exactly what I'm gonna draw that's stinky, but what character? Hmm, let's do one we haven't done yet, which is Jax. Okay, so I'm gonna draw Jax farting. I'm sorry, that's just what I'm doing. That sucks. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have him kind of bent over, so he's in a good fart position. You have to have a good fart position, okay? But if I've learned anything in all my years of farting, it's that. <laughs> Okay, so we've got Jax. We're drawing in his little overalls and everything. Okay, I need to get to his face um, because I want to make sure that he has that. It's kind of an important part of Jax. Okay, so we've got his little face and I want to make sure he has one of those like cheeky smiles, okay? <laughs> because Jax is so mischievous, you know that he's up to no good at all times. So I got to make sure I've got that little face drawn in here. Okay, he's, he's looking pretty good. Let's give him some of those eyebrows. Um, <laughs> Okay, a nice little outline, okay. And then um, I need to get his pockets and his buttons on and then we gotta get to the stinky part, okay. Um, let's go ahead and we're gonna grab a nice green color, three lines, a little cloud, poof. <laughs> his fart cloud. We're gonna give it a nice brown background to set the ambiance and uh, give him a few little highlights here and there. He's looking pretty amazing. We'll give him a blush. Maybe he's slightly embarrassed about farting. Okay, and then I'm gonna put whoever smelt it, dealt it. <laughs> I am so immature, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, let's see what everyone else drew. Oh, we got an adorable little puppy, like a little wet dog moment. That's cute. I'm gonna give it three stars. I appreciate the blushies. Here's mine, oh my gosh. <laughs> if I end up on the stage, I might be slightly embarrassed, but I still think it's hilarious. Okay, I'm getting some cool and some dead faces and mixed reviews. <laughs> we have a nice turd, a classic. We'll give that three stars. <laughs> I can't be serious, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like a little baby toot and it's like, ew, stinky. <laughs> we'll give it four. I don't know how to rate these. Oh no, poor guy needs a shower. <laughs> He's got the stink, the stink fumes. <laughs> Everyone's crying. <laughs> oh no, the poor guy in the back smells like poo. <laughs> I'm giving it five stars. No four, I can't make up my mind. They've all been so funny. Uh, and then we got just like a cute bear. I, I'm not sure which part of him's stinky. We'll only give him three stars. I got second place. <laughs> the top three was also good. That was my best round yet. Go me <laughs> with the jack spark. All right, we're gonna keep this ball rolling and we are gonna go right into drawn spawn, one of my favorites. Let's see what everyone's got going on in here. We got this guy with a big old belly. Let's see what's on like the doodles of the week board. Oh my gosh, this one is so cool because it's gonna like drag you along and give you a ride. Yes! Oh my gosh, it was so cool how they like thought to create this one. All the moving parts and like it's like pulling you around on the wagon. I love that. Okay, so I'm gonna come in here. If you guys have never played Drawn Spawn, it's one of my favorite games. I think it's super cool. You can draw your doodles and then you can spawn them as different things. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna draw like the main villain from episode two, which is the fudge monster. And we are gonna spawn him as a mega boss, okay? So we are gonna start off with his delicious fudgy body. <laughs> I want to get like all the tone variations because in the show he's like so glossy and like wet. <laughs> I don't know. That's what I'm trying to capture that vibe, okay? Which um I think is going pretty well. Um we're going to color in his mouth here and I love that he has like candy corn for teeth, which I think is so hilarious. So we're going to draw his little candy corns in. If you guys are fans of candy corn, let me know down in the comments because I feel like people either love or hate their candy corn. I'm a candy corn fan. In fact, if you get like the ones that are like the big pumpkins, those are so good. <laughs> or if you ever bake like peanut butter cookies and put candy corn in it, I'm telling you, it's next level. <laughs> okay, now we're moving on to his eyes. I'm actually gonna use the wheel parts because I think it'll be really cool if they spin around. So that's what we're doing. I'm adding in a wheel part for each eye so that way they'll spin independently. And we're gonna give them like those little rings because they kind of look like gobstoppers. All right, and then once I have all this drawn in, we're just gonna give everything like a nice little outline to pull it in all together. I think it's looking pretty awesome. Do I have enough ink? I think I do. I think I could just barely squeak this out. Yes, okay, here we go. I've spawned it as a big mega boss. We'll see how long Fudgy can last. He's gonna eat all these spiders in no time. I just know it. What's that? My eyes deceive me. 
Wait, Miku, what are you doing here? <laughs> oh my gosh, she's like got barely any life left. No. Moving right into spray paint, let's see what everyone is up to today. It's like really bumping in here. There's a whole bunch of people drawing. It looks so amazing. Oh my gosh, look at that super realistic ice cream cone. Oh no way, it's actually Apex C. Okay, if you guys do not know, they have a channel on YouTube where they do a lot of their like super realistic drawings um, in spray paint. So go check it out. I'm gonna link it down in the description. Oh my gosh, no, someone's scribbling all over it. Why do they do this? A bunch of haters, I swear. Okay, let's see if we can get them vote kicked out of here. Yes, get out of here. We're gonna put four um, ruining art. I don't understand why people do this in spray paint. Um, I guess they're just like mad that people have actual talent. Just haters, I, I swear. Let's get them, okay, good, they're gone. <laughs> Anyways, go check out their channel. Like I said, link down in the description. Go show them some love because they absolutely deserve it. Okay, um, let's go over here. I wanna give them a like because I've never actually gotten to see them in spray paint before. So I wanna leave them a little like and show my appreciation for this beautiful ice cream cone. I mean, look at it, it's so cool. Okay, we are going right behind the little train cars. This is my favorite place to come draw because nobody's ever back here and they won't scribble on my art. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and start with a little sketch. We are gonna draw Jax. It'll be epic. I have yet to do like a big piece dedicated just to Jax. So I think it's only fair that we show him some love and spray paint today. I'm gonna give him like a nice little chrome background because I don't care what you say. I think it looks cool. It's like a low effort, like maximum slay uh, decision, okay? If you are ever drawing in spray paint, just give it a chrome background, it instantly looks amazing. <laughs> That's my trick. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go in with our purple and do like his basic form here. And then I wanna add in a little bit of cell shading so that way he looks like he is a three-dimensional being. He's not just, you know, flat on a piece of paper or in this case on a brick wall. <laughs> and then we're gonna add in our little highlights as well. I don't know why, I think Jax is like the hardest character for me to draw, which sounds weird because I think he has one of the more simple character designs. But for some reason, he's like so long and lanky. It just doesn't fit with like my art style. I usually make things like round and small and like I don't know that's just the opposite of how I like to draw naturally so it just doesn't work super well for me so this is actually kind of a challenge we're gonna draw his nice uh, yellow teeth that he should probably get checked by a dentist and give him you know his classic mischievous smile and then I want to go in with the eyebrows I don't know why he's kind of looking like the rock but I love it <laughs> so I'm gonna leave it Okay, and then let's give him some overalls so he doesn't look like, um, you know, he's naked. And let's add some more dimension to the face, some little um, highlights on the eyelids. Okay, I thought it would be really cool to give him kind of like this neon glow. I'm gonna use a purple for the shadow side and like a yellow for the lighter side. Alrighty, so here we are. Here's the finished product. It's Jax with the rock eyebrows. <laughs> I think it turned out pretty good. I'm actually pretty proud of this because he's a hard character for me to draw. And I think the neon and the chrome together are just chef kiss, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna give myself a pat on the back. Okay, here's a game I have not been into for a while. We're gonna go into Doodle Transform. And I think I'm gonna draw a character that you guys were so sad I missed last time. We're gonna do Zubal. I love Zubal's personality. She's so funny. She's just like completely over it. But I am absolutely dying for them to give me like more backstory on Zubal. I feel like she's just kind of there, gives her a few lines every episode. I wanna know more. I wanna know more about her. I want to like dive into her character more because I feel like there's something going on there. Like Glitch Productions, explain yourself. <laughs> I, I need the backstory of Zubal, okay? And also give her more screen time. She's amazing. Okay, anyways, we're gonna draw her. We gotta get her like little sassy hand on her hip. And she has like that one like lobster claw. She kind of reminds me of like him from the Powerpuff Girl. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, we got to add in all of her little polka dots and everything that's on her belly. It's coming along pretty quickly. And then she has like this one random like circle thing hanging off of her shoulder. We'll give it a nice little outline. And yeah, she's got like those like random spikes. She's almost done here. Just putting the little finishing touches on it. Alrighty, let's go see what everyone else has transformed into. Okay, oh, look, it's like a little axolotl over there. I don't know, I think that's just a scribble. <laughs> And who's this guy? He almost looks like Anger from like Inside Out or something. And then I think you guys told me last time, this is like Dog Day or Cat Nap or something. Is this Digital Circus over here? Oh my gosh, but no! Somebody help me! Oh no! Help <laughs> the me. Digital Circus shippers are here. Help me! 
I feel like that violates some kind of convention. Alrighty, we are going straight into free draw. Now, if this drawing looks somewhat familiar to you, that's because I posted it on my channel a few weeks ago, but I ended up taking it down because I really wanted to include it in this video. And I was like, I just don't want to, you know, separate it from the rest of the family. <laughs> We are gonna draw this super huge scene from the second episode where we're kind of in like the candy land and I wanna have Pomni kind of falling out of that portal from the sky and like landing down in the candy land. So that's what we're going for. I have my nice little sketch layer and now we're gonna do some outlining. Yes, that is what we're doing. And we are just gonna work our way down the page, all right? I love how the skies and the candy land are kind of like made of like little ice cream scoops and little candy gumdrops and stuff. And even like the fences, like it's all ice cream candy, just like sweets everything. It's so cute. And it was really awesome when I was drawing this. I had someone come join me in game. So thank you so much for stopping by and saying hi. Always means so much to me. And yeah, we're gonna get back into drawing the candy princess here and make sure we get all the little details on the fences. And once we've got our outline all done, I started to get um, a bunch of people that were like trying to vote cook everyone in the server. So I ended up getting like scribbled and vote kicked out. I'm so unbelievably disappointed right now. <laughs> so that's what just happened here. And then I joined back and I was able to finish up because thankfully I had saved my drawing. And I just went into a private server after that because I was like, I don't want to risk that happening again. So. We are gonna finish it up, but just all by my lonesome. <laughs> We're gonna get all the colors blocked in and then we'll finally get to go in with some highlights, some shadows, get it looking real juicy, get it popping. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I absolutely like loved coloring this in because there's like so many stripey stripes and swirlies everywhere. I mean, even like the candy princess herself, like her face has like that humongous like swirly on it. I just think it's so like fun and whimsical. Um, and then once I've got like all those details in, yes, we're gonna move on to more of these candies. Everything just looks so delicious in here. <laughs> I wanted to add like the really cool portal. It was super hard to try to get like a similar effect in free draw just because they don't have like any like neon colors or anything like that. But it was still like really fun to draw. Now we're gonna add in all those like um, little shadows and everything because I think that's what really kind of gives, um, especially a piece like this where it's kind of like a lot's going on. It, it helps bring it all together because you're getting like the atmosphere, the lighting, everything. So it'll start to look a lot more cohesive and put together at this point. Okay. Okay, I'm getting so excited. We're gonna add some of these details on her dress. And then I wanna move back up here and I'm trying to use like some opacity to hopefully like help make the portal look a little more realistic. I don't know if it really worked though. <laughs> But we're gonna move on into those juicy highlights um, because the candy is always gonna be like super shiny because it has all that sugar and syrup and everything in it. And then I wanna do like a rainbow ombre for the sky because that's exactly what it looks like in the show. And then of course, we've gotta add in the candy floor and Let's go ahead and make sure that we've got Pomni all colored in and it's sprinkle time, okay? <laughs> I wanna add some light coming from that portal so that way you can tell like where the light source is coming from and then just kind of give it like this black outline to kind of um, frame it a little bit. So these are just like the last finishing touches of this little drawing here. I thought this was so much fun, but um, I, I think I spent like almost three or four hours drawing this. It was a really, really long time. <laughs> I hope you guys loved it. I, I literally slaved over this forever, <laughs> just for you. And here we are with the final product. I think it looks really cool. Um, if I were to go back and do this again, I think I would try to like um, finish up the frame a little bit better. After I finished and like zoomed out, I realized it was kind of really uneven, but I still think it turned out so super cool. I feel like this is the exact vibe of episode two. If you guys are just as excited as I am for episode three, make sure you guys subscribe and give this video a like. Let me know if you want to see more of these and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs> Gotta say, this is a lot more anticlimactic than I was hoping it'd be.